So here's a question looking at both mass and weight. So the question says figure one shows a balance used to measure the mass of five tomatoes. What is meant by the center of mass? So this is a definition we need to know. You can mention this in one of two ways. You can talk about either the weight of the object or the mass of the object. So we can say it's the point at which the weight of the object is considered to act, or we can say it's the point at which the mass appears to be concentrated, so where the mass is situated, roughly. So I'm going to go with the first of those two options. So the center of mass is the point at which the weight is considered to act. It's just one mark for the definition there. Part B says calculate the weight of a tomato in figure one. Use the physics equation sheet, and it's given us that gravitational field strength is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. So here it's asking us to measure the mass of one tomato, but we've got the mass of five tomatoes in the diagram here. Between each of the 100 gram lines, there are four divisions. So that means 100 divided by four, each division is 25 grams. Looking at this one in particular, it's on the first division. So one division past 400, that would be 400 plus 25. So five tomatoes has a mass of 425 grams. Now what we need to consider is mass, its standard unit is kilograms, not grams. So we need to convert this. So to turn grams into kilograms, we divide by 1,000, giving us 0 0.425 kilograms. But that's for five tomatoes. We want it for one so that we can work out the weight of one of them. So we just need to divide by five. So one tomato is 0 0.425 divided by five, which is 0 0.085 kilograms. So now we have the mass of one tomato, but they want us to calculate the weight. So this is where we can go to the equation sheet, or if you remember it, the equation is weight equals mass times gravity, or I'm going to put in short form W equals mg. So the mass we know now is 0 0.085 for a singular tomato times by gravitational field strength they've given in the question of 9.8. So I multiply them both together and I get a value of 0 0.833 newtons. So that's what I'll put in my answer box at the end.